Hey guys, today I'm here with the largest book I have ever made. So let's take a look. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share with you this large mini album. This is, as I said, the biggest book I've made. It is a quite a big one, chunky, lots and lots of room for pictures, lots of interactive pages, movable pages, spinning pages, and pockets. I just love it. I love how this turned out. I am using the Mintai Spring is Here collection. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of my class kits. You can still find it on the website. will be linked down below. Also, I will have the video class only option available also linked below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this book. So this book measures 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter and it has a two and a half inch spine. On the cover here as you can see we have the beautiful image from the collection this amazing house. I just love it. I wish this would be a real place that I can go visit because it is just so so pretty we have all these beautiful flowers uh, we have the butterflies i went ahead and added these little animals from the ephemera on the windows because they're just so cute so the windows actually close this is the way the paper was and i went ahead and made them a little bit interactive so they can open and you can see these little guys on the inside then also the door i made it pop stand out more against the whole collection and then we have the flowers that came in the kit and i added more butterflies i added more flowers here using some chipboard to create dimension and i just love how this looks it is just so so beautiful love it on the spine i just went ahead and added some of the pieces from the ephemera with this background again from the collection and then for the back i just use these beautiful flowers so this is quite a large book so we're gonna go on the inside and look more in detail at the at the whole book here so i just want to be careful with the doors uh, so we have two sections side a and side b as i like to do and each side has two full sections as well so we're gonna start over here and i'm sorry this book is super large i'm gonna try to keep it in frame as best as i can so uh, we have over here this beautiful window again the collection is amazing this opens up i complement it with a lot of pink cardstock so you're gonna see a lot of pink but that is basically where you're gonna be putting your pictures uh, this opens down here and again i didn't want to do a full pink but i kind of break it down so you can see a bit of the collection and then you have your pictures and things like that uh, now this section slides to the side and that is going to allow for this other side to open here uh, you can also add pictures on over here i'm thinking one of those like little two by twos you can collage it here or three by threes or something bigger as well uh, and then this opens to the side so let me move this over and over on this side we have pockets so we have the four by three cards and i just made these into cards uh, i was adding them just uh just by the paper by itself because the back you can journal but it was a little bit too flimsy so i decided to go ahead and back it on the heavy weight and make it into just more picture places you can write a note and those go on the pocket here and same thing on this top pocket so we have that and this book took me some time i have to say because i just 
I've never worked with a book this size, so to make it fun, interactive, and not just look like a big, uh, I don't know, it was a little bit challenging, and also getting the finish was challenging. It probably took me the longest that I usually take to like add the paper. And I even left some places blank, as you can see here. I mean, I will probably just do a picture there, so I didn't want to bother adding more cardstock because it was getting pretty heavy. Um, uh, but here I also wanted to collage, so I'm using the 4 by 3 cards and I intend to do picture, picture and then a little journaling here on the center. So that's why I broke down the cardstock on some places instead of adding just a full uh, pink cardstock, which you can of course do as well. And then just collage it as you add the pictures. But I was just having fun imagining how to fill the book so it doesn't feel um, like such a large book but anyway beautiful image here from the door and on the tutorial I do go step by step on how we are cutting the paper so we are centering the image that we want exactly the same um, and then this opens up like that adding added some of my scrap pieces and we have tons of little ephemera so to collage on the side um, these are some of the 4x3s that I just made to fit, place for a picture, place for a picture. And then these come down and actually pull out. So again, hidden places for pictures. And then this one opens up and pulls up like the same way. And I put a little cheeky in there, how cute. It's like a little peekaboo. And then it comes down. And then here, of course, you can have large areas also for pictures so you have a lot of options on how to fill your book with pictures you can print out some large ones or collage smaller ones and so they magnetize in place and then this closes up and then i'm gonna close this side and then you want to close let's see you want to slide this to the side and then close it and then slide back and it will magnetize in place and so there we go so now we open up we reveal that's the back so again i did a little collage with different picture options or you can do picture and journaling so over here at the center we have this beautiful image with the bird houses and the little chickies here so these are from the kit also these are the chipboard uh, little um, birds and then i have the bird houses on the back and i just wanted to make this as a beautiful flower back um, and then this piece also slides so you slide these either up or down and so this opens a down then we have the ephemera here places for pictures and then this opens to the top and then here at the center again more images these are the four by threes and then this opens and opens we have a pocket and I did this fun Polaroids. Look how cute this turned out. Almost looks like somebody sent you like a picture here. Like that's so cute. So two with the collection and then two that you can actually add pictures in there. And these are of course left open so you can slide your picture all the way back there. But I am in love with these little Polaroid style pictures. They're so fun and i love them because you can add your picture and in journal here what the you know date or whatnot and then this closes up opens to the side again more places for pictures a little bit of ephemera this opens up here again and then we reveal the center the center is my favorite because it was so hard to cut this paper all the images or all the designs on the 12 by 12 were, were beautiful and really hard to like get them down to size this is why i wanted to make the large book but also like even cutting it a little bit was hard but anyway i decided to keep the frame here as it is and just add a little image at the center and then this is also a little accordion fold so you can actually add your own pictures here on the center and i didn't cover this up to not add any more bulk but this also spin around you can see the little brats in there and then you can have your pictures on any direction and then it magnetizes in place and then on this side here again um, this was kind of like towards the end so i just added the four by three cards and some of my scraps to just fill up the page here but i like how this turned out 
uh, I love the collage and then this opens up and we have a fun little um, kind of like pockets with a reveal page in there so you can of course just add a picture and your picture will come up like that um, or add a picture on the back and journal there so that was this section so this is gonna close close and then we close this top and then this will just slide to the center and it does magnetize right there at the center and so that is all this one side and let's move this over and look at the other section here so again with the beautiful house image how can you cut these anymore so i wanted to maintain the whole design of the page just took some of you know a little bit of the sides here and this is actually a gatefold page so this opens up like that and then here at the center again just place for a picture and this is an easel car so it up opens up like that so you can display your beautiful picture here and the picture doesn't have to be small you can make a bigger one there are two frames in there so you can definitely just add any size picture and then the beautiful design here and then this is also a pocket so you can add more photo mats in there and then these two sides are kind of similar to that sliding uh, page here because you can slide these either up or down you have pictures you have pictures here or back there and then this opens up and down and then room for pictures here as well so just use some of the ephemera a little bit of scraps and then you can definitely just have this whole area as pictures but i decided to break it down and then i didn't put anything on the back there to avoid the bulk for these sliding little feature here so you want to make sure these slide so if you make it too bulky it probably would not so that's why i you know just hold off on that paper and even if you're adding pictures i would just hold on on the pink paper but i wanted to cover that up and and show you that and so this is exactly the same so we have the little cheeky over here so this is again four by three cards since we have had a lot of those four by threes um i wanted to use them up and then some little leftovers to add a journal in there sorry i'm not trying to be in the way of the camera but <laughs> here we have this cute little guy and then picture picture and then this just closes up like that and then you will slide these down right there so that is all this front section i love how these looks is so pretty and then this opens up and you can see here how i collage this i think once we put the pictures it will be really fun to kind of have some sort of like design as a scrapbook of course you're welcome to do a large picture for that um and then at the center this is probably my favorite feature for um, this entire book and so we have here the image um, of the collection it's just so pretty and then also these opens down and then this opens up and then i put ephemera on this section you can journal but these slides or spins around and then we have this reveal over here so again i am a really big fan of printing like two by two by three pictures uh, on my selfie cannon so that's why i like small spaces but you can even do a big five by seven and just kind of like cut it in half and you will still see like the continuation of the picture here and so I'll slide back and then this spins back in place and then it magnetizes all back so i just love how that page turned out it took me forever <laughs> to come up with the dimensions for these and the trial and error but i love how these ended up looking and then we open this up here we have a big eight by eight area for a picture um and then here i just clutch some of these beautiful elements because i love how that looks like right here so pretty and just large areas for pictures here again and then on the back back we have 
um, like a cascading pages here. So um, I just wanted to keep this one plain for the beautiful design paper. And then this opens up. And then here I did decorate, but you can add a picture on the back of all of these. And then this opens and opens. And then here we have a little 3D platform. And then this opens here so you can add pictures, 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 journal or pictures, you know. So a lot, a lot of room for pictures on this large book. And you have places for large pictures, small, I mean, it's just, I don't even, I didn't count how many pictures can you fit. But I think it's definitely maybe a hundred or so pictures that you can put on this book and then this opens up here and then for the back i just wanted to do another little collage so using the four by threes and then you can put pictures there as well so i had a lot of fun uh, finishing up this book and creating these collages um, you know using up all every little bit of my scraps i still have some ephemera but i think i am done <laughs> with this book ready to move to the next project but i love how this turned out and i hope that you guys like it and so i hope that you guys enjoy the walkthrough for this book i had a lot of fun making it and it took me forever to come up with fun ideas for this large book it's a lot more challenging than it seems just because i didn't want the pages to look empty or boring since they were so big so it was definitely a labor of love and i hope that you guys love it as much as i do so again i will link below the link to the the classes to the kids and also to the video class only and so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye bye <music>